Ontario, Canada, August 13, 2023. Yeah, it's twisting. Multiple rounds of Severstone moved across southern Ontario through the day Saturday heating communities with large hail and high winds. Some residents have even seen some reports of final clouds and possible tornadoes on Saturday. Saturday's storm hit the region in two waves. The first round of thunderstorms swept toward the Golden Horseshoe during the morning hours, bringing widespread storm warnings to the region. Communities in the path of those early storms saw high winds, large hail and rotation. A final cloud was reported north of Caledonia, and experts are surveying damage in the area to see if a tornado touched down. Later in the day, a second round of powerful storms developed around the Barrie area and tracked toward eastern Ontario through the mid-afternoon hours. These supercell thunderstorms took full advantage of high instability and favorable dynamics to grow into supercells or thunderstorms with rotating updrafts. This rotation allowed the storms to produce very large hail along the path. The storm may have produced a tornadic water spout over Lake Huron near Wasaga Beach before moving into the Barry area. Once inland, numerous reports came in throughout the Lake Simcoe area of hail, the size of ping pong balls or larger. A few residents reported hail larger than golf balls. Environment and Climate Change Canada initially issued a tornado warning just before 2.30 p.m. Several minutes later, it was downgraded to a severe thunderstorm warning capable of producing very strong wind gusts of up to 90 km per hour, with an update at 3.26 p.m. saying there are risks of ping-pong ball-sized hail and heavy rain.
At 4.23 p.m., the warning was downgraded to a watch, stating dangerous thunderstorms that may be capable of producing damaging wind gusts. Damaging hail and heavy rain are still a possibility. Peterborough County and Lakefield were under severe thunderstorm warning and at 4.55 p.m. as the National Weather Service also alerted the warning stretches as far as Belleville, but shortly after at 5.03 p.m. Peterborough and Lakefield were downgraded to a watch, but all watches have now ended for Barrie, Peterborough, Belleville and surrounding areas.